Today we're going to learn about disjunctive pronouns. You have just learned about indirect object pronouns. Indirect object pronouns replace an indirect object, and an indirect object is the recipient of an action of a verb. For example, I throw the ball to Pierre. Pierre is the indirect object. And say I don't want to keep on saying Pierre, Pierre, Pierre over again, over and over again, maybe I can just replace it with him or lui. Lui is the indirect object pronoun, and that's not what we're doing now. But we study disjunctive pronouns after indirect object pronouns because they have so much similarity. Disjunctive pronouns, if you study the chart here, have a few things in common with indirect object pronouns. Notice by the way, that no matter what kind of pronoun you're talking about, nous and vous are always nous and vous. That will never change. So we're looking at disjunctive pronouns. Moi, toi, lui, elle, nous, vous, eux, elle. We need to figure out when to use them. Now, I'm going really fast. You're going to need to push pause a thousand times in order to take good notes. So when do we use them? In the first place, we use them for emphasis along with a normal subject pronoun. The normal subject pronoun is in blue here. So the sentence could exist really well without that disjunctive pronoun, which is the first word. I could just say, j'aime le chocolat. But if I want to emphasize, I'll say, moi, j'aime le chocolat. I could say, tu aimes le ski. But if I want to emphasize, I go, toi, tu aimes le ski? Hey, do you like skiing? If I'm putting emphasis on you, Eux, ils n'arrivent jamais en retard. Them, like those guys, they never come late. The second case when we use in, uh, disjunctive pronouns is when the disjunctive pronoun all by itself makes a sentence. So maman could say, qui veut du chocolat? And le fils could go, moi. Or Charles could say, qui comprend la géométrie? Who understands geometry? And Pierre might say, elle, she, or she does, lui, him, he does. Um, the other time we could use disjunctive pronouns in a super short sentence is with the word ba, so not. So let's look at those same sentences. It's like those. Maman says, qui veut du chocolat? And a fils could say, pas moi, not me, because he just ate a whole box of chocolate. Or qui, qui comprend la géométrie? Pas lui, not him. Third instance in which we use disjunctive pronouns is after a preposition. And let's look at this wonderful preposition, chez. You guys are used to chez elle, chez moi, chez lui. You've heard that before, chez toi, chez moi. This is where it comes from. After a preposition, we use a disjunctive pronoun. And here we have that fantastic preposition in French, chez, that means at the house of or at the place of. The fourth time we use a disjunctive pronoun, is when we're saying myself, yourself, or himself, like I did it myself. Je l'ai fait moi-même. Tu as travaillé toi-même. You worked by yourself. Elles l'ont chanté elles-mêmes. They sang it themselves. Ils l'ont fabriqué eux-mêmes. They made it themselves. Fabriquer, by the way, it means to make, to create. It's a great verb. Fabriquer. It's like fabricate, except for fabricate has negative connotations in English, and it sort of means to sort of make something up, whereas in French, it just means to make or create or build. So finally, with the verb penser à, penser à, if you haven't written down yet, that was your clue to write it down. Penser à means to think about somebody. For some reason, I don't have an explanation and no textbook does either, for some reason, we cannot use a direct, sorry, we cannot use an indirect object pronoun with penser à. So consider this sentence here, je parle à Sally. So the verb there is not penser à, it's parler à, je parle à Sally. And you guys have seen before, you can replace Sally and à with an indirect object pronoun. You could say, je lui parle, I talk to her. But we cannot do that with the verb penser à. And penser à is the only verb that you have to learn right now that works that way. There only a handful of verbs that you cannot use indirect object pronouns with. You only have to use one this year. You only have to learn one and it's penser à. So penser à, 
we can't oops let's go back here so we can't we can't use an indirect object pronoun with penser à. So if I say je pense à Sally and I keep talking about Sally, 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 and you're sick of the word Sally, the name Sally, you can't use lui there. You would just have to replace Sally with a destructive pronoun. So je pense à elle. So let's look at a few others. Je pense à Stéphane et Isabelle. Stéphane is a boy, Isabelle is a girl. Je pense à eux. Je pense à Claire et Isabelle. Je pense à elle. They're both females. So let's just look what it would look like with all of the parts, all of the pronouns, all of the subjects. Tu ne penses pas à moi? You don't think about me or you're not thinking about me. Nous pensons à toi. We're thinking about you or we think about you. Je pense à lui. I think about him. Je pense à elle. I think about her. Il pense à nous. They think about us or they're thinking about us. Nous pensons à vous. We're thinking about you. Or we think about you. Je pense à eux. I think about them. Je pense à elles. I think about them. That is the end. Thank you for watching.